What's going on everyone and yes these are CPU miners and those are 3D printed standoffs so no need to ask me in the comments what those are. They are 3D printed I did it myself. So today I'm going to be looking at some hash rates of what I think is probably the best GPU currently available on the market. What GPU am I talking about? That is this guy right here the A2000. Yes I do got some fingerprints on it but that's all right. Uh, this is a workstation GPU, it has 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Some people may see that as a con because there's one or two coins you cannot mine with only 6 gigabytes, but there are 12 gigabyte versions available and that is one of the only cons with this. The other one may be resale value. Uh, you know, gamers will not really want to buy this, but if you're looking to crypto mine and you don't plan on ever selling it if a crypto winter hits or, you know, Ethereum does move the proof of stake, then this GPU is for you and I don't plan on selling ever. For scale purposes, look how small this thing is. Here is my hand. This thing is very, very small. Now, here it is on top of my Octominer case. That thing's just a little tiny baby. But you can see here, there are no six pins to connect to it. It's actually sitting on the riser right now, and it is powered by your PCI Express Time 16 slot. If mining with a riser, it is the six pin in the back. Time 16 slots, which is the long one, does use about 75 watts as a rating, but it has been seen in the past that they do pull more. That is why it is recommended never to use SATA cables on your risers and to use the six pin. So if you also have it in your motherboard, this will be powered with no PCI Express cables whatsoever. Quick pros and cons of this is really the pros are this thing mines extremely, extremely efficiently, which is what you want with crypto mining. It gets pretty good hash rates for the price. I paid about $700 Canadian for this and some 3070s uh, cost more depending on the MIB that you do purchase it from. So these things are very efficient, very small. Two versions available, as I stated early, six gigabyte and now 12 gigabyte. So depending what you do want to mine, you may want to go for the 12 gigabyte version. And the resale value for this is a con because you know, people may not want to buy these and it'll be a lot harder to sell. But myself, again, I don't ever plan on selling any of my GPUs unless they like explode and blow up on me, then I'll just throw them in the garbage. But other than that, you know, that's not really a con in my books, but to yours it might be. Welcome to the Rabbit Mine YouTube channel where I try to test out everything I can get my hands on for the purpose of crypto mining and let you know what is the most profitable. In the past, whenever we talk about hash rates, it's always been Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. So Ethereum is set to die here soon, sometime this year potentially. It's time to start looking at other algorithms and what we can mine with GPUs. So in this test, I will be looking at hash rates and efficiencies across Ethereum, Flux, Ravencoin, Conflux, Rio, Ton and AVN. All right, so let's just take a look at these A2000 hash rates. The time of recording is January 5th, 2022. I will have all my notes. Majority of these coins are all used running T-Rex miner. If I change anything or have to use a different miner, I will have it in this section right here. And my system with no GPU is 22 watts. So based on my wall power, add 22 watts to it and that will give you my full system power. But I am just giving you my wall, my wall power with my 22 watts already taken off. All fans are running at 65% across all these tests. I never really ever run my fans above that. 65% does seem to be just fine on any GPU I have mined on so far. So moving forward, Ethereum, I hit 42.06 mega hash. Software was telling me 68 watts. The wall was 78 watts. So the GPU here was using 78 watts here. That 22 is already taken off. My hash to watt ratio is 0.5. 539 hashes per watt settings for this was 950 on the core and 3200 memory moving on the flux i was hitting 23.44 souls 68 watts in the software at the wall i was getting 78 watts on this gpu my hash to watt ratio is 0.3 for settings 200 on the core and 500 on the memory i did have to utilize lol miner for this coin and not t-rex Ravencoin, I hit a total of 15.88 mega hash. Now these aren't the top numbers I got. I am using the best hash to watt ratio that I did find. I did get a slightly higher hash rate, but my power was up. So keep that stuff in mind, guys. So 15.88 mega hash, 
70 watts rated in the software. I was 80 watts at the wall on this GPU. Remember, another 22 for the system. So I was using 102 watts at the wall total, but this is the GPU power I do have. And my hash to watt ratio is 0 0.19. Settings I use 200 on the core, 500 on the memory. CFX or Conflux. I hit 30.92 mega hash, 70 watts software, 80 watts at the wall on this GPU. Hash to watt ratio is 0 0.38. Settings used 200 on the core and 500 on the memory. Ryu, so I did hit 1.495 kilohash, 69 watts in the software. Wall power was 90 watts, so we're using a bit more power than these other coins here. Hash to watt ratio is 0 0.016, 300 on the core and minus 2000 on the memory. Now I did have to use XM rig NVIDIA. I did try 400 core, but it crashed. I couldn't get any higher. So XM rig NVIDIA was needed and not XMR stack, which is used on most of the GPUs out there. Okay, CCX or Conceal. I did hit 1.604 kilohash, 68 watts in the software, 80 watts on the GPU at the wall, 0.02 of a hash to watt ratio, I settings used here, 300 on the core, minus 200 on the memory. My miner used was Crypto Dredge. Toncoin, I hit a total of 1.33 gigahash. Now again, remember, I'm looking for efficient settings here. I was up to 1.46 or something like that, but I did drop my power limit and I'll show you that later on. 60 watts in the software, 70 watts at the wall in this GPU, which worked out to be a hash to watt ratio of 19. Uh, 300 on the core, minus 200 in the memory, and this is also Hive OS. So if you're using Windows, you will have to cut your memory in half. Uh, power limit 60 with LOL miner was used. No power limit was 1.44 giga hash, but 80 watts, so an 18 hash to watt ratio. I'm trying to show the most efficient settings I found. That is why I went with the 1.33 giga hash. And here I have AVN, 17.09 mega hash, 67 watts in the software, 80 watts at the wall. Hash to watt ratio, 0 0.21. I used 300 on the core and 3,200 on the memory. Miner used was Wild Rig Multi. Now, I also decided to try another test. I went down and instead of using a riser, I threw it on the time 16 slot to see if maybe it would reduce my power consumption. Moving down here, you can see Ethereum time 16 slot with no riser. So straight on the motherboard, I actually dropped a little bit of mega hash here at 41.53. Software is stating 68 watts, but it was actually had a higher watt power than before. We're at 82 here and on the riser, I was only at 78. Hash to watt ratio is now 0 0.5, which is still really, really good, but not as good as being on that riser. Uh, same settings, 950 core and 3200 on the memory. So moving forward, I also looked at today's profitability based on all these numbers. That way later on in the future, I can look back and kind of see how coins are changing in profitabilities. So Ethereum here, these are numbers before power taken off because everyone lives in different parts of the world and different power prices. Just take these numbers based on this video and add your own power consumption to see how much power you will be spending. So again, uh, these are the prices before power. Ethereum is looking like $2.29 per day. Uh, Flux is at $0.99. Cents. Raven is sitting at $1.46. Now CFX and Rio are both showing zero in what to mine. So I don't know what's going on. If there's an error or something or it's just not profitable. So I do got zero and zero here for that. Uh, CCX, so Conceal is $1.43 per day. Looks like Ton is $1.50, and AVN is sitting at $0.93. Cents. All right, guys, so that does sum up this video for what I think is probably the most efficient and best mining GPU to use today. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Is it the best GPU mining? Is it the most efficient out there today? I know the 6600 is fairly efficient as well. I don't have one to test, but I would love to go a head-to-head -head competition with that but I just don't have the GPU. So let me know, what do you guys are thinking? Is this the best GPU in the market today or is something else doing better? Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one, Rabbit out. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe and like this video as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.